Hey everybody, welcome back to day 14. Today we're talking our favorite gag. Mm. <laughs> now, um, our favorite like joke or running gag, things like that. And I have two. Uh, and they're for the same reason. It's because they're so ingrained in the character that I never want them to go away. They're my two favorite things. And first off is Usopp's fear. I know people are getting tired of that. They just want him to be some fearless warrior of the sea or something that's ridiculous <laughs> but um yeah he's he's never see that's the thing he never said i want to be fearless he just said i want to be a brave warrior of the sea and that's what he's going to do but for Usopp to be brave he has to also experience fear without the existence of fear you can't be brave hence why i don't say that luffy is brave or that zoro's brave or sanji's brave because they don't really they don't they're not scared they don't fear things. They're, you know what I mean? They're curious about whether or not they can beat it, but they don't, they're not afraid of whatever comes. So Luffy, Luffy is the best example of that. So, but yeah, Usopp's fear is what keeps him like progressing and pushing and kind of always thinking and creating like his fear is the reason he's got, he had so many different stars for everything and why he's able to up and one of the reasons he upgrades his weapons and Nami so much is because his fear leads him to think of things and plan for it. See what I'm saying? So I never want that to go away, no matter how stupid it is, you know, like straight up and down. And the second one, <laughs> cause the, like I said, it's a tie is Zoro's lack of direction. I think <laughs> every time I see it, it's funny. The dude got lost riding on the back of a dog. How the fuck does that happen? On some very real shit, how the fuck does that happen? But, I don't know. I'm not trying to make a thing out of it. But, yeah. Uh, it's been a, a gag and trope since he first showed up. And I absolutely love the way that it still manifests. Especially in Wano, where he got lost riding a dog with everybody. There's, they, they have to explain that in some way. I, I don't feel like... Normally, up, up until this point, it did not need any explanation. He he went the wrong way. He Somebody would tell him to go that way. He'd go that way. It was a thing. All right? It's hilarious. But in, in Wano, he got lost writing the same thing everybody else was. So I really, really, really want to know how that one works. But, uh, yeah. I think among all of the, the running gags and tropes and various things like Luffy and meat and... Uh, like, the different drinks that have the effect on Frankie. Like, there's all sorts of running gags that they do. But I think those are my favorite. And I know a lot of people will probably say, but what about Sanji and his love for the ladies? I'm like, you know what? That's... I never actually liked that that much. <laughs> Sorry. I mean, Sanji's a dope character. He's one of my favorite. But that that particular part, that's what could stop. I would love it if that could end. Like, his time on the Okama Island maybe told him to respect women for a fucking change and not just swoon all over them like they're princesses and goddesses. Because, yeah, you don't respect a princess or a goddess. You revere them, and that's a whole different space. Anyway, that's a different conversation. But if you get it, tell me, if you understand, tell me in the comments below. And, you know, whatever. <laughs> but, yeah, that's about that's about it for this one. It's going to be another short one. Uh, those are my two favorites. Tell me your favorite running joke or tell me why I should appreciate Sanji's more. Um, but yeah, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know how you feel. Tell your friends. Uh, um, yeah. Remember, life happens in every direction. So be prepared.